What's up? There's no intro. Yes, this is a surprise, kinda, unless you watched my last video. Um, I already ate one of these chopped cheeses, but I had a whole meal before this, but I still have to eat these, so we're making a whole other video. Bonus content, you're digging the extra content, you wanna see more extra content, hit a like, subscribe, thumbs up, and all that cringy YouTube stuff. When you see this, I'll be wearing the same freaking outfit that you saw me the day before. Listen, it's the same day, I just made two videos, that's all. Um, also, just for people who don't know, um, we made chopped cheeses. Uh, these chopped cheeses are delicious. Uh, they are bacon and cheese chopped cheeses. I got barbecue sauce on here as well as, of course, cheese because that's what goes on the chopped cheese. And we're going to eat this chopped cheese. Mm. They're still good. I said this in yesterday's video, which is exactly the same day, but it's only my second one. And it tastes like a rodeo burger, bro. If you don't know what a rodeo burger is, <laughs> I'm repeating myself, it's crazy. It's a Burger King burger that barbecue sauce and onion rings. I wish this had onion rings on it, because it would absolutely bang. But, I do have something that I forgot was there. So we do have a review in this video as well. Wise, which is the uh, the hood brand of the East Coast. If you haven't got this, you haven't got it. I don't know what to tell you. Um, Limited edition, Southern Peach Habanero. I'm interested to see how this one is, to be honest. Uh, I don't even know what to expect. I don't really like peaches, but it's not going to stop me from making reviews. So, let's throw these on here. Right here. Hopefully they're good. Well, that's just not going to be a good look. I still have my cereal box. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right, let's try this. Southern Peach Habanero. Does this have like a, a background? I like when they had explanations on a box. If you like sweet and the right amount of hot, it's in caps, you'll love these sweet peach habanero chips. Sweet and salty, tangy and spicy. They'll carry you away with their burst of fruity peach flavor and a peppery habanero treat. I don't really like peaches. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna like these, I'm gonna be honest. I'll eat them. Um, I can taste the peach. Uh, I don't really, like I said, I'm not a peach person. I don't like peach flavored stuff. But having a little bit of spicy from the habanero does save it. Also, these delicious sandwiches do. Um, they're not really spicy. They're more sweet than spicy, if I'm being honest. For me, um, it's a decent chip, but I wouldn't buy them again. But that's more because they do have a peach taste. I would have liked them a little more spicy. And I did shake the bag. Yeah, it's way more peach to me. And that's maybe because I don't like peaches. Mm. They're really sweet. I'm probably going to eat those. Mwah. Too much peach for me. That would give me a second. I actually have more chips because I'm fat. And I'm gonna get an extra thing of chips because I can't eat sandwich about chips. Don't buy these. Unless you like peaches, then buy them. But peach flavored chips are stupid. Anyway, these will be gone by the time you see them next and I have some new chips. Hold on, please. Told you. All right, these are hickory barbecue. I know I like these. Like I like hickory barbecue sauce. <laughs> that's just, that's way too many shit. It don't matter. Let me see. Yep, that's W. No. Also very sweet though. Like that's like Damn. Whatever. So gonna eat them. Also I wanna say this too, because I am wearing the same videos yesterday, the uh, hoodie. The reason that I'm usually wearing hoodies, and it's usually like one of five, is because, well, two reasons. Or one, when you usually are seeing this, I'm usually getting back from work. Um, I would usually shower after I eat, before I go to bed. So, I'm still in work clothes, and yes, I'm cool enough that I get to work in hoodies. Um, 
The second thing is, and people might not know this, it's hard for me to find clothes that fit me right, just because of my body type. Like I'm not like I'm gonna sit here and be like, oh, like I'm body, like whatever. But it's hard for me to find pants. Uh, I have big quads. I've got cake. Okay, I squat a lot. Whatever, like so. But my waist isn't big, so it's hard for me to find pants that fit me right, especially jeans. The same thing with my shirts, this, especially hoodie, hoodies, hoodies, because I'm taller, I'm 6'1", I'm not that tall, but I've got pretty broad shoulders, and again, I don't really have like a big waist, so a lot of times, because of my like broad shoulders, a shirt won't be long enough, so sometimes I have like extra tall shirts, so when I find hoodies or shirts, that I like, I usually will buy more than one. I have two of this and about four other hoodies. They're the same exact hoodie, but I have two of them. Because I don't want to not find them again. So I will usually just buy multiple. And whenever I don't, something happens to the first hoodie. And I love my hoodies. I always wear hoodies, hats. Like, you, you can see that. Like, that's just kind of... Ask anybody who's seen me in real life. I'm odds are I'm wearing a hoodie and a hat. Unless I can't. But if I can, I am. And it's 99% of the time the zipper variety. You like what you like. I wear sweats 90% of the time too because jeans are tough. And it's always been that way for me. It was different when I was younger, you know, high school, the jeans were baggy, so it didn't matter. Now, jeans are more fitted. Back then, your jeans were huge. Like, you was got, you know, Timberlands and some, like, size 40 jeans on. If women don't know size 40 is, like, a pretty big waist size, but they didn't actually fit me. I had to have a belt, and that's how we wore our jeans. You know, all of a sudden jeans started getting more fitted and I had problems. And that's when I started to have them be like, you know what, bro? I'm just wearing sweats. You know what I'm saying? I'm at that like age where I like can remember like old fashions. And I'm too old for like certain fashions that like younger generations wear, but I still do some of the stuff that younger generations do because I'm not like old enough yet to like completely like abandon, you know, like trends. So it's just like a weird spot. Some of the stuff, there's milk on that, I'm stupid. That. You know, the younger kids do. I'm like, you know, I'll follow that trend, stuff like that. For example, um, well, this isn't really a newer trend. This trend probably about 10 years old, but 90s and the 2000s, you wore fitted hats. The 2010s and beyond, you wore snapbacks. And... I am not joking when I say this. If you walked into, like, in the 2000s, if you walked into school with a snapback on, people would make fun of you. You would get clown. We used to call them unfitted. That's how much they weren't even a trend. People would be like, you got what you got to unfit it on? Like, you couldn't afford it real? Because snapbacks were cheap back then. Snapbacks really are cheaper still now, aren't they? Somewhere along the lines, it just completely turned in his head. And now, you rarely have ever see somebody wearing a fitted hat. But, 90s, well, I think 90s. I'm not sure about the 90s. Definitely in 2000, you had a fitted. Like, 
I used to buy a new fitted like every other day. We go to the mall. Do they still have lids? Y'all know? Is lids a national thing? Lids, I mean, if you're not familiar, lids was a store just like it's literally it's called it's like nothing but lids. It was just hats. We go to the mall like twice a week, and I'll buy a new hat because this isn't a new thing for me. I always wore hats. I used to have hats to match every outfit I had. That was like kind of like a trendy thing anyway. You understand? There was a point in time where like we were listening to Nelly. Right? You had to have like matching fitness to go with. And you wore jerseys. I know y'all are like, what is going on right now? Because y'all don't, you know, you don't see people walk around like football jerseys like used to. And you didn't have to be a fan of the team to rock a jersey. Like I had so many jerseys. I had, at one point, I, I would want to say I had probably every team in the NFL and um, a lot of basketball teams too. And you have to have a fitted to go with it. Like, I couldn't walk around. This is just how it went. I couldn't walk around with, like, a Randy Moss jersey, for example. Y'all know who Randy Moss is. Like, literally. Like, if you play football, you probably heard of getting mossed. Like, that's the guy that did it. But, I couldn't wear a Randy Moss jersey, Vikings, with, like, you know, like a, a Atlanta Braves hat. You look stupid. So, you had to have... You know, at least like something with some purple in it. Like that's what we used to do. We had a match. I had orange Timberlands, bro. Orange Timberlands, not wheat. Orange. What do y'all say? Orange. No matter. Like that color. Orange. Because I used to wear the Denver Broncos jersey I had with it. Um, I had a Knicks jersey I rock with it, and I don't even like the Knicks. And I don't want to hear nothing because the Knicks is playing well. <laughs> um, every you cannot get a Knicks fan to shut up right now. Like I am from the heart of Knicks country. Like everybody here likes the Knicks. Nobody likes the Nets um, except for like the younger younger generation because the Nets were never really. I shouldn't say that the Nets were dope for like three years um, when I was like really young. They had like Jason Kidd. Isn't Jason Kidd a coach now too? Wow, man, I'm old. And they had like, there was about a three year stretch where the, the Nets went to the finals one year. And they got smacked, but they was there though. We went and was in there. But other than that, and this is the New Jersey Nets back then, now they're the Brooklyn Nets. Um, for the most part, like my friends, my family, they like the Knicks. My, my dad's a Knicks fan, my sister's a Knicks fan. Like everybody in my family besides me <laughs> I'm a Celtics fan because I don't want to listen to nobody. So, all these Knicks fans around here, you can't get, can't get them to shut up because they finally good again. Because the Knicks haven't really been like great in a long time. I know they went to the finals that one year. What was that like? Two? They got smacked by the Spurs. It was Tim Duncan. I want to say two thousand. Maybe, I don't know. Um, all my teams are trash right now. Ladies, if you don't follow sports, like, as a sports fan, it's just never good to have your teams be trash because then people say your teams are trash and you'd be, like, all, like, sensitive. Everybody's trash. The Yankees are trash right now. The Giants have been trash for, like, the last five years. The Celtics are kind of trash right now, considering what they're supposed to be. I don't really watch hockey. I don't even know who's good in hockey. Who's good in hockey? Anybody know watch hockey? I can't do it. I know, like, there's a black hockey player, though. That's pretty cool. But we usually didn't have a horse in the race. Um... I don't know. That's a weird thing. That's like, like Tiger Woods when he got popular. Was it, did, I, when was Tiger Woods pop, like really popular? Like it was like the 2000s. Where I remember he had a game, like a PlayStation game, like PlayStation, like PlayStation. Now you would call it a PS1. And he had every black person try and go play golf. Bro, my dad was out there. <laughs> he was out there golfing. They go like my uncle. 
anybody. Because it was like, I don't know, it's a weird thing. It's kind of the same thing, though, because a lot of times, like, you know, it's almost like, like Eminem. People who don't like rap that are white like Eminem, because he's white. I'm not saying that in like a, you know, a negative way. It's just like, it's kind of how it's always gone. Like, Eminem, there's a re and I love Eminem. I'm not saying this again. I'm not saying it like negativity, but I believe Eminem is the highest selling rapper of all time. Is he the best? No. I mean, he's one of the greats, but he ain't the best. Why? You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying it a bad way because Tiger Woods was the other way of that. That's what I was trying to say. But was a lot of people that didn't watch golf at all, all of a sudden started watching golf because we were like, hey, like this dude's in the Masters. You know, like this dude won the Masters for a while. Like we weren't allowed to play at the Masters. So. I'm still waiting on a black swimmer. We ain't doing that. We don't swim. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the worst stereotype. That, uh, you know, black people can't swim. I'm like, can I swim? I can float. Float, float's are real nice. It's funny because I was the better swimmer when I was like younger because I was chubbier. But when I got to college, um, I couldn't swim anymore. Wild, right? My lifeguarding class I had to take because I was an exercise science major. A teacher explained to me because I was built a certain way, like the muscle mass that I'm heavier when I sink. <laughs> so I sink. And also because I had muscular legs, it was harder. This man made me stand up in front of the whole class and explain to people why my black ass was sinking all the time. It was so bad. <laughs> Your boy had flippers, bro. I had flippers in class. And it was like three girls in my class was on a swim team. So they used to make fun of me every time we go out to the bar, they see me like, oh, look who it is, the sink guy. And I'd be like, <laughs> I just get mad. It is what it is, though. I can kind of swim, but I don't swim well. But there's no like crazy black swimmers, are there? I'm just certain stuff. Like, there's certain stuff that we as a culture, like, we're not doing it. Um, eventually, one of, one of us going to swim. But, you know, like, all the, like the, the action sports? Like, them dudes on Discovery Channel be running around, like, chasing after tigers and stuff? Like, hmm. We just, we don't, we don't really, we ain't, like, skydiving and, like, bungee jumping you know like unless you're like will smith like you gotta be like like you know like rich like we ain't i'm not nah the one that really gets me with all that crazy stuff though hang gliding what possesses somebody to grab a giant dorito with a handle on it and jump off the side of a fucking mountain. So I used to ask you know, my white friends stuff like that. Like, Why do y'all want to go skydiving so bad? And they was like, man, it's fun. It's fun, dude. You gotta do it. Tell me, just go. I'll pay. Go. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna reach to go to like Six Flags. I don't even go on rides, bro. Ah, that's not me. Y'all got this. I'll be here waiting for you to back. Mm-mm. Not me. Y'all be like, we went on my senior year, we went to, um, there's a park in Virginia. King's Dominion was the name of it. Um, I think Paramount owns it, actually. I don't know if it's still there, but whatever. Um, that was our senior trip. Went to Virginia Beach, uh, D.C., and Kings Dominion. And, funny enough, my best friend, Sam, 
it was me and him because he don't go on rides either. Everybody else was going like, Wee! and we were just walking around like, I don't know what's wrong with these people. We spent the whole day just walking around on the amusement park. I don't go to amusement parks, there's nothing for me to do. I play the games, the little claw, get one of them. I'm not finna go on the ride. Nah, it's not because I'm scared, it's because I'm not stupid. Now watch Final Destination? Has anybody watched Final Destination? Do you not think stuff like that happens? Oh, it's a rare, it's a chance. I get on planes because I have to. I want to get somewhere in a short period of time, I hop on a plane. There's a reason for me to get on the plane. I'm not afraid to fly, but I don't just hop on a plane for no reason. That's what skydiving is. You get up in the air and you jump out of it. What the, like, think about what you're doing. You're getting in a plane so you can go up in the air and jump down to where you were like, that's like the equivalent of like, when kids did stupid stuff, like went on their roof and jumped off of it. But instead of jumping off the roof, you're jumping from 20,000 feet in the air. I'm good. Mm-mm. You skydiving and bungee jumping. Y'all just, and I'm saying y'all, I'm saying the people who do that. It's not, I, I'm, I'm sure there are people in every culture who does it. Stereotypically, you know. But, y'all just, you just jump voluntarily off a bridge. And a big butt, like, why? Nah, nope. I've seen the stories, man. People in, uh, nope. Nope. I'm not going to talk about any of the stories and the accidents and stuff like that, because that's really happened to people. And it's tragic. And I'm not going to make a joke about a tragedy. Um, but you can look up some of the things that happen. It's scary. And I'm not going to voluntarily subject myself to that. Call me crazy. But... I'm good. I'm all set here. Hmm. That was a highly satisfying meal. The crazy part is this is part two because I actually ate an entire box of cereal and three donuts before I ate these chopped cheeses as well. Now I get why people think that I'm uh, 420. Nope, just fat. Anyway, um... You'll be seeing this on a Friday. Was it Friday? Or maybe a Saturday. What the hell is today? I don't know. You'll see this the day before an eating challenge because I'll be fasting. So I made two videos. Content. <laughs> anyway, it's been your boy King Strats, man. I love y'all. We'll be back tomorrow. More content. I already said I love y'all, but I mean it. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.